Okay. Coach Healing, thoughts on today's game? It was a grinder, just like we thought. Um, Dominican's a really good team, really tough. Uh, we figured it'd be an extremely physical game. It was. We knew they wouldn't quit. Uh, two teams that really pride themselves on being tough defensive teams, us in the half court, them kind of in their full court game. So uh, I thought, obviously, the first half was, was a struggle both ways to get a basket. Uh, we were able to keep that up for the entire game, which was great. Uh, kindly found our, uh, finally found our rhythm on the offensive end in the second half. Uh, kind of started to get used to playing against some of their run and jump actions and things that were that they were doing. But again, credit to our guards for, you know, we have really good players that are able to make reads and make really good decisions on the fly. So just a credit to them and what they were able to do. As a coach, you, there's such a long layoff between conference tournament and the start of the regional tournament. What, what, did, what did you do this year, you know, specific to that to try to keep your guys sharp leading into today? Yeah, it has been a while. I think it's nine days, if I'm not mistaken, in between the, our conference semifinal loss and today. So, um, you know, a couple off days, a couple skill development days, a couple, you know, full normal practices. Uh, but again, just with a veteran group that we have and testament to these two guys next to me, um, they've been locked in the entire time. It's easy to lose focus. I'm sure they can expand on that, but it's easy to lose focus uh, in that week, week and a half. And every day these guys were sharp, whether it was lift, whether it was film, whether it was getting shots up or actually going live up and down. Uh, they've been locked in for the entire nine days. Brandon, did your brother recruit you, or did you make the decision to come back? Because the, the two of you were so good together today. Um, um, was this by design to, to get him to play you? Uh, well, why transfer? Him? He was he was he definitely played a part in it. But I mean, it was a good program that prides itself on defense. Um, something that I didn't have uh, at my old school. So like, being able to play defense with the, with these guys and get a, get a big win in a tournament like this it means a lot. And Brandon, for you, you, you um, have been there from when the team started to make the turnaround mm -hmm. to now being an NCAA tournament team that's won a game in the NCAA tournament. What does it mean for you, having been there for so many years, the all-time assist leader, top yeah. scorer? What's the, what's uh, I would just say uh, it means everything, uh, especially for Coach, too, because, like, four years ago, we, we were putting in work. Like, we were, we were getting those games. We were close. We were winning them, but they're all close, you know what I mean? So... Just getting here is like it means everything to us. Like we really put in the work, and yeah, we're just excited. Obviously, there's 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 executing the game plan and, and exhibiting that culture in the regular season and even in any Penn tournament. It's different to do that in the NCAA tournament. How good does it feel knowing that everything that you might have drawn up it might not have gone exactly your way, but at the end of the day, you played pace basketball and won an NCAA tournament game playing that way. Yeah, again, I think with veteran guys, like even though it's our first time in the tournament and sometime at, at Pace and Dominican, we were constantly telling our guys over the course of the last you know few days, this is their fourth straight trip here. So, you know, they're seasoned, but at the same time, we're seasoned in our own way. You know, it might not be on the NCAA tournament stage, but these guys have been through uh, tough times, good times. Uh, as you guys know, the NE10 is a grind. So, you know, every night is tough and physical and um, – you know, we were able to execute the game plan, but so much of it too is just these guys making plays, especially the way Dominican plays too. They kind of try and make it helter skelter and make you, you know, have to react on the fly. And that was the biggest thing for me. Obviously, our defense, we really, you know, were able to sustain. And even when they made a run there in the last couple minutes, we we took a timeout, we rallied, got some big stops. But really, just a testament to our veteran players for being able to withstand that, make really good decisions in the moment, offensively and defensively, and pull out a victory. I was really impressed the way that you guys played through your bigs today. Um, was, was that a you know, kind of a topic for, for you guys leading into today? Yeah, I mean, we, we really play through those guys quite a bit. You know, we try and pound the ball inside and play power basketball and um, – you know, those guys do a great job, and we do a great job facilitating out of the post as well. So um, I'd like to think we're, we're, you know, a team that can do either, you know, pound the ball inside, share the ball on the perimeter. We've got really skilled front court players. We have really skilled guards. So, you know, really it's, it's just their ability to play off each other from, as guards and forwards to do a little bit of everything. Can you give us a little context about what it was like when you started at Pace? The team was at, in the doldrums. They were, like, one of the bottom feeders of the NE10. And slowly but surely, you got the, you developed a culture here. Now it's a winning culture. Um, you haven't been to an NCAA tournament in 15 years. You haven't won one in 20 years. Tell, take us from where you started and where the program is now. 
it's extremely gratifying, but just so gratifying for, for all the guys. And even not only the ones that are here on the team now, but some of the ones that have graduated in recent years too. They're such a big part of this. But um, yeah, I mean, just trying to change the culture, trying to get everybody to pull in the right direction. And I mean, Brandon Jacobs said it so well when he first started. Like we were, we were building, we were close, we were competitive. And then we went from being competitive and the close, you know, uh, guys that were almost, you know, scale on the mountain to, you know, now winning some games. And then all of a sudden now you're a four or five seed and now we've built up to uh, a regular season champion and, and finally now into the NCAA tournament and advancing. But uh, it's gratifying, but, you know, every coach tries to implement culture. Like that's such a, you know, a buzzword culture, but really you got to have players that buy into it. And these guys do such a great job of buying into it. Um, you know, so we talk about, I feel like I've mentioned a couple times here, veteran leadership. That's not just on the court. I mean, that's that's behind the scenes. That's in the dorms when nobody's around. Like, we have guys that say the right thing and mean it. And, you know, I think everybody feeds off of that. So, again, just I can't speak highly enough about these guys, Austin Gilbertson, guys that have been in our program for years and, and what they bring to the table. And you look ahead to tomorrow. Well, we, we know how tough a Bentley team is. We know how well they played earlier today. Is this the level of defensive effort that it's going to take, or does it even need to get to another level to, to knock off the top seed on their home floor? I'll let these guys speak, but I think if you ask me as a coach, it could always get better. But they're probably like, oh, yeah. God. But, yeah. I, I think like, we just got to step it up. I think every game, every time uh, every time you advance, it just gets harder and harder. Yeah. Um, Bellies a really good team, really good three-point shooting team, but I think we got a lot of um, good defensive players. We have a good system. I think we're going to have good uh, defensive effort today. Uh, I was going to say, like, we're, we're guys who take pride in defense, you know what I mean? So a team like Bentley, like, we see that as a challenge. Like, we're going to go out there and really want to stop them, you know what I mean? So it should be a good game. Very good team, well coached. I mean, you know, multiple players that do multiple things well. So it'll be a formidable challenge for us, of course. Good day to you, et cetera. Yes, <laughs> the yes. The teams are wearing home whites tomorrow. How about that? Seven seed. In the chat. Wow. I didn't see that, so the eight seed advanced as well. How about that? Yeah. Nice. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. See you tomorrow.